What is up here? This is Manate Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Zero Escape Virtue's Last Reward Blind. In the last episode, we made it to the moon, guys. We, we finally done it, and it seems like Phi has figured something out. A window popped up on the inside of my helmet with Whisper in the corner. She seemed to be using a circuit only we could hear. Yeah? What is it? I figured out why there's an extra E. Oh, wait, what? An extra E in the Memento Mori thing? Oh, you mean the graffiti. Yeah, the one on floor B. I think it's an anagram, just like on floor A. Hmm. Is there anything else I can think of? Memento Mori, if the ninth line ate the sun? It's probably something about going back in time. What's Anna say this time? Ah, darn it, Sigma! Knock it off. Memento Mori, if the ninth lion ate the sun. If you rearrange the letters, you get... The man on the moon rules the infinite time. Ah, yes, of course, naturally. You can totally see that one. The man on the moon rules the infinite time. Love it. See? You need six E's to get that. So they stuck an extra one in ninth. The man on the moon rules the infinite time. That's you, Sigma. Hmm. I think it's a message for us, from Zero Senior and Akane. Remember what she was telling us? We created the AB project for one purpose. To transport the consciousnesses of two people into the past. Those two people are you, Sigma, and you, Phi. So, um, what are you getting at? My god, you're slow. You don't get it? They're saying we rule the infinite time. Infinite time. They weren't just talking about having us jump a couple hours. I think they're planning to send us back. Way back. Interesting. So, it almost makes it seem like Akane, by some means, we know that she can travel time too, learned about this future and then devised a means to prevent it from happening, right? By seeing that this nonary game may have the potential to prevent such a future, she, in the past 45 years ago, arranges for the abduction of, you know, these people that need to be in cryostasis for as long as it takes to have this nonary game happen as it's currently playing out so that this future can be avoided altogether. I think that's, that's the gist of it. Wait a minute. Are you saying you think they're going to send us back 45 years? Yeah, I'd bet on it. So the ultimate purpose of the AB project is to send us back in time to that catastrophe Temyoji was talking about? I think so. That doesn't make sense though. I mean, we came from that same time period. Before it, actually. So why bring us here and then send us back? Well, Akane should be able to tell us the rest. Let's go pay her a visit. Do you know where she is? I've got an idea. Come on, think. Remember what she said when she gave you the key? Tu fui ego eris. Tu fui ego eris. The grave! The one in the garden! Well, come on, what are you waiting for? 
Let's go! We turned and ran back into the pressure exchange chamber, the others following close behind. What? What are you doing? Oh, it would be so nice if everybody else shows up too. Did you forget something? We're going to go have a talk with somebody. Who? You really need me to spell it out? The person behind all this. You mean Akane? What? Yeah, how does K know about... I'll take that as a yes. Well, I mean, I guess K was familiar with the research and all that, right? Let me accompany you, then. Wait. Why do you know about Akane? I'll tell you when we get there. Now, if you please. I'm coming with you. You, you folks just said the magic word. I'm going too then. So am I. Figured. Hey, um, is this Akane you're talking about? Yeah. You know her real well. Wait. You... You're not. You're serious? What the heck is going on? Ah, oh, shut up. Just shut up. Come if you want to. We don't need to do roll call. Once we get there, Akane can explain everything. With that, we headed back through the airlock. I'm so curious to see how the interaction goes. Akane meeting everybody. Everybody who's tied to her in some manner, right? The only person we still don't really know much about at all is Phi. How does Phi fit in the picture? We also don't know a ton about Temyoji, but it's still more than Phi. Any day now, game. <laughs> I get the door open slowly, but you don't really need to show me every time. Ah, clever. The number 9 door on floor A is shut forever once the game ends. Assuming Zero Jr. was telling the truth, of course. But the door on floor B... Yeah, I thought we might be able to take the lift to it, and it looks like I was right. Any idea where Akane might be? Yeah. The grave. You mean the grave in the garden? Yeah. Don't worry. I don't think she's buried there or anything. Chances are she's alive. Just in the grave. Anyway, let's move. To the garden. <laughs> Poor Temyoji. Yeah, she I mean she's alive. She's well, she's in a grave, but she is alive. But she's not like buried alive, you know? Temyoji's like, what? <laughs> Is... is Akane really under here? I think so. What should we do? Are we going to dig her out? No, not quite. <laughs> no, no, I don't think we'll have to do anything like that. You see the keyhole on the grave? If I just... insert this here... I pulled the key off my ankle and fit it into the hole. I twisted it to the right until I heard something unlock. With a quiet grinding, the grave began to shift. 
Another treatment pod. What is this? It doesn't look like a coffin. Yeah. It's a treatment pod. Oh my god. It is, isn't it? The glass on the cover had frosted over, making it opaque. We couldn't see who or what was in it. Let's see what's inside. She grabbed a hold of the lever on the side of the pod. No good. I think it's locked. What? Treatment pod TP00 stage 1 defrosting complete. Stage 2 will be complete in 10 minutes. Once stage 2 is complete, the lock will automatically disengage. That's exciting. Right, cold sleep. What? These pods can put people into cold sleep. It uses something called CAS to freeze human bodies without destroying their cells. So, Miss Akane is like an ice cube? I think so. Then we've got to wait till she melts? Yeah. So how about you tell us your story while we wait, Kay? Specifically, why do you know Akane? I remembered. What do you remember? Everything. I was born and raised in this facility. It's called Rhizome 9. A rhizome is an underground plant stem that spreads by sending out roots. Kinda makes sense, doesn't it? This facility is a little like a rhizome. Supposedly that's why they call these installations that. The number comes from the facility's number. Of course it's facility 9. There are 54 rhizomes on the moon, and this is the ninth one. Well, I suppose the other ones don't really matter to you, do they? In any event, I grew up here with Akane and Zero Senior. I watched them create the AB project. The AB project? Yes, its purpose is to send Fine Sigma, or their consciousnesses, at least, to the past. Back 45 years, right? Yes. So you want us to change history, huh? Go back and keep Radical 6 from getting out and stop the reactors from exploding. That's our mission? Well, not exactly. Oh, interesting. How, how does it differ then? What do you mean? It's true that the ultimate goal of the project is to keep Radical 6 from spreading to the general population. But even if you do make it back, you won't be able to do much. By now, it's already too late. Too late? What do you mean? Let me begin at the beginning. You might be thinking that Zero Senior and Akane were the ones who created all this. But that's not entirely correct. They only followed the histories they'd already seen. 
It was the only choice they had. Nothing less than the future of mankind is at stake. We need the two of you to jump through timelines while maintaining your memories. That is why you had to play the AB game, and why the chromatic doors were necessary. By forcing multiple options, you can make numerous jumps. We speculated that jumping more would strengthen your memories. The puzzles were also there for a purpose. Some theories hold that the moment of insight when you solve a puzzle strengthens your connection to the fourth dimension. That was the reason for the puzzles. Your infection with Radical 6 was also a vital part of our plan. By slowing down your brain's processing speed, we can store your potential. I mean, we've, we've heard all of this. With that energy stored up, we just had to provide a life or death situation to launch your consciousness into the fourth dimension. Like a bullet from a slingshot. Wait. Hold on just a minute here. You keep talking about Sigma and Phi. But what about the rest of us? Why did you bring us here? That's simple. In earlier histories, you were all here in Rhizome 9. We needed you here to accurately replicate those histories. Although I suppose that's probably not a good enough explanation for you. In a sense, though, it is the truth. Our primary goal was to replicate history. The rest is... Yes, I suppose I should explain. Very well. I will try and do so in a way you can understand. First, Alice and Clover. They were abducted 45 years and one month ago, on December 22nd, 2028. The location is Earth, of course. More specifically, Los Angeles, California. Correct? Uh, uh, yes. Yeah. After being kidnapped, your bodies were sent to a facility under Akane's direction. You were placed in treatment pods and immediately put into cold sleep. Four months later, you arrived at this facility. The date you finally arrived was April 14th, 2029. Your trip from Earth to this facility was aboard a spaceship powered by an annihilation engine. <clears throat> Following your arrival, your pods were placed in long-term storage. Does that make sense? Are you telling me we were sleeping in those pods here <clears throat> for 45 years? Yes. 
in preparation for this day. But why? What do you need us for? You are an esper, aren't you, Clover? I mean that you are able to access the fourth dimension. Am I wrong? Did Akane tell you? In a manner of speaking. As I've already explained, the purpose of this project is to send Sigma and Phi's consciousnesses to the past. Espers are able to sort of resonate with one another, which can amplify their power. You understand? This is why we brought you here, Clover. What about me? We needed your help, Alice, to deactivate Dio's bombs. Huh? But I didn't do anything. But you did. In another history. You were able to perform a prime decomposition on the 25-digit integer that Dio left behind. Only you could do that sort of thing. Because of your feat of mathematics, we were able to determine that Dio had planted the bombs. Then we were able to get able to question him and get the password for the number three bomb. Finally, we used that information to stop the detonation in this timeline. Without your help, Alice, we would have been reduced to nothing more than so much as space dust. This history exists because of your presence. Now let me explain why we needed Temyoji and Quark. Temyoji is simple. We needed you for the same reason we needed Clover. Ooh, you are able to access the fourth dimension. Almost half a century ago, you used that ability to save a young girl, didn't you? Yeah, I did. We needed you to resonate with Sigma and Phi, so we brought you here. All it took was a messenger. Do you want to see Akane? If you do, come with me. I was a fool and fell for it. And you brought Quark with you. In fact, you insisted that he come. Yeah, I know. I guess you were worried about leaving me alone, huh? He kept saying he couldn't run off to the moon and leave me behind. I'm sorry, Quark. If I hadn't been so stupid and selfish, none of this would have happened to you. I never thought this would happen. Can you ever forgive me? Oh, don't worry about it. I mean, I agreed to come with you. I thought the moon would be way more interesting than boring old Earth. What kid would turn that down? <laughs> we didn't see the messenger after we got on the ship. Uh, it was on autopilot. As soon as we got in, it headed straight for the moon. 
During the trip, Zero told me to keep quiet once we got there. I don't remember anything after we landed. Then there was a bunch of that white smoke and we passed out. And when I woke up, I was in the AB room. Now, Dio. To bring the life or death situations. His real name is Left, and he's the leader of a terrorist organization called the Myrmidons. He was ordered to come here. The Myrmidons are under the control of an organization called Free the Soul, which is in turn controlled by a man known as Brother. It was Brother who orchestrated the release of Radical Six into the general population 45 years ago. Do you remember what Fi mentioned earlier? The ultimate purpose of the AB project is to change history and keep Radical Six from being released. If we succeed, that would be bad for Brother and his organization. Our success would prevent them from creating the ideal world they're working toward. That is why Brother sent left his trusted lieutenant to this facility. They needed to stop the AB project. So, Dio was given two tasks. The first was to eliminate Akane, the architect of the AB project. The second was to join the AB game and win it. If Dio won the game, the AB project would not be completed, at least not in that timeline. In other words, in that world, the project would have been stopped. If things didn't go as planned, Dio was given a contingency plan. If you cannot murder Akane and win the game, destroy Rizo 9. Hence, the bombs. Can I ask you something? Perhaps. How did Brother know about the AB project? He was also an Esper. Ooh, interesting. Is this an Esper we're actually familiar with? Or like like from 999? Or is this just gonna be some random oh yeah, he was an Esper too. We can set Brother aside for now, though. May I proceed? No one objected. We were all curious. Excellent. That explains everyone save two. Luna and myself. Sigma and Phi already know the truth about Luna. I don't believe I should reveal any more, however. Well, 
I think it would be more appropriate if you could ask Luna yourselves, at a later time. Would that be alright with you? Luna? Yes. That's okay. As for me... As I said before, I was born and raised here. The rest of you were brought to this facility, but I've never left. That makes me someone close to Zero Senior and Akane. Hey, I've been wondering... Who is Zero Senior? You've already met him, Sigma. In another timeline. Yeah. Well, I saw a hologram. I still don't know who he is. He reminds me of Snake. Or maybe Ace, but... We'll see. Naturally. <laughs> Naturally, that thought is interrupted just in the nick of time. Stage 2 is complete. TP00 unlocking. It looks like it's finished. Shall we open the pod? Yeah, let's do it. All of us gathered around the pod. The glass was still covered with frost, hiding the contents. Here we go, guys. Okay. Let's get started then. Ready? Fai laid her hand on the lever and looked around at us. I swallowed. Yeah, anytime. Alright. Here we go. Three, two, one. Please tell me it's Junpei. <laughs> What? What? It's a third Sigma? Suddenly my head was full of memories from other timelines. I'd seen something like this before. The warehouse of Floor B, in front of the white door. Kane was lying in front of me, I grabbed his mask and saw... My own face. I never figured out who he really was. Why was there a man with my face underneath Kay's armor? It didn't make sense. After I'd seen him, I was injected with Chibokurarine, and that was the end of that. But wait, if the person in the pod was the same person I'd seen on the floor of the warehouse, who was wearing Kay's armor? You finally noticed. Didn't I tell you? You won't be alone. I will be at your side watching over you. What? <laughs> That's incredible. So Akane's been in Kei's armor in this timeline at least. No. Oh my god. You're... Yes. I'm trying to work through to my head, and, and clearly, I mean, it can't all work out nicely, but there are the timelines where Akane dies, right? And we find the body. And then there are presumably other timelines where Akane doesn't die, and we don't find the body. And there's some time... So there are going to be some timelines where K is Sigma... A clone of Sigma and some timelines where K is actually Akane? I think it's just this timeline though. I don't think it would be the other ones, but I, I really don't know. I am. Kurashiki Akane. It's. It's you. Yes, 
June, I, I mean, Akane, from... But you're old. Yes, that's correct. I haven't spoken to you in a very long time, Clover. Or you, Junpei. I knew it! I knew it! Junpei! Akane! I knew it! Temyoji was Junpei! I totally called that, like, forever ago. Long time no see. I could barely hear what they were saying. My mind was still reeling. It felt like all the air had been knocked out of me. And it was all I could do to not collapse right then and there. When... How long? Do you remember when the two of you saved me in the warehouse? Once you'd saved me, you went back to your future. Well, your minds did at least. I carried your bodies to the 3rd AB room and then took Dio's to the 5th. After that, I went into the 1st room and borrowed Kei's armor. So, by the time you and Clover came out, you'd already... Yes. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Dio killed you. And then Luna took your body to the sixth room. You couldn't have been in Kay's armor. No, it was me. In this timeline, at least. In this one, I wasn't murdered by Dio. You two saved me. It's just like Schrodinger's cat. Your actions in the future decided who would be inside the armor in the past. What? No, that's nuts. Alright, what about the other history? The one where you weren't saved? What happens then? Who's wearing the armor? That's quite simple. The man in front of you. Him? That's correct. Whenever I'm not in the armor, he is. Who are they? What about the memory loss? For my part, I confess that I lied. He, on the other hand, was telling the truth. Large doses of soporil can cause memory loss. I gave him a rather large dose. So, who is he? You've never seen him before? No. What about the rest of you? I have no idea who he is. I've never seen him before. Me either. Total stranger. But hey, come on. What are you guys saying? Right here? Same face? Uh, are you alright, Sigma? Did you hit your head or something? Huh? What? It didn't make any sense. Why didn't they recognize me? Sigma, your consciousness can jump through time. You can inhabit your body in the past or in the future. What? 
So you're telling me there are two Sigmas, one from the future and one from the past, the body at least, in this one timeline? Well, what does that mean? Don't you get it? You've jumped to the future. From 45 years ago. I looked around frantically. A pond. I ran to it and threw myself down on my knees. Crawling on all fours, I approached the edge. My heart was hammering inside my chest. A cold sweat trickled down my spine. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down, darn it. I struggled to take deep breaths. Then slowly, slowly, I peered into the pond, looking for my reflection. What? <laughs> what? We're zero? We are zero? How can two Sigma bodies exist in the same timeline? That's my biggest hurdle at the moment. How can there be both a future Sigma body and a past Sigma body? I can understand consciousness jumping and all that jazz, but... What? What happened to his eye as well? It's so interesting. No, this can't be real. This face. It's your face, Dr. Sigma Klim. Although to the you that's behind it now, it's your face 45 years from now. Zero, the mastermind of the AB project. Is you. What? So 45 years ago, Sigma comes to the future and devises how to set himself up to set up the AB game, to then participate in the AB game, etc. What? What? No, that's not possible. How does Temyoji know us, though, right? How did Temyoji see that hologram before, unless it was a different hologram, and then not recognize us? That's BS. <clears throat> no. It's the truth. Finding it isn't going to do you any good. Please, Doctor. And that means we've worked so long with Akane as well. Also, it's interesting because Akane herself has had a moment like this before when she realizes she's zero in the future, too. I'm not a doctor. You will be. A pioneer in the field of genetic engineering. You're lying, so he cloned himself to give himself a body of his past self that he could jump into? Is that, is that what the rationale is? Sorry about that, somebody felt like revving their motorcycle for a minute, so I <laughs> had to pause, but... Sigma, you're lying! No, I'm not. You created him. Well, I suppose I should say you are going to create him. That's so weird. So K is like kind of Sigma and kind of Akane, depending on the timeline. Which is us from the past or us from the future, depending on, you know, the perspective, right? Create. His name is Kyle Klim. Or Klim. Your clone. That is why he looks just like a younger version of yourself. It's also why he goes by K. Twenty-three years ago, in the bio lab here in Rhizome 9, you created Kyle. Well, I suppose for you, that's still in the future. When I said I was born and raised here, I was still pretending to be him. The gravity here is only one-sixth of Earth's. 
骨格は弱体化しまともに発育することはできません。If nothing was done, the reduced gravity would cause his bones to be weaker than normal human ones. そこで博士が彼に与えたのが。But you prepared for that. この金属製のボディースーツだったのです。You gave him that armor. 彼は幼い頃からこのスーツを身につけて暮らしてきました。Ever since he was born, he's lived inside of it. そうすることによって。骨格や筋力が衰えていくのを防いでいたのです。It kept his muscles and bones strong. つまり彼はこの日のためにスーツを着たわけでも、着せられたわけでもなく、He wasn't forced into it for the nonary game. 常日頃からこれを身にまとっていたということです。He's been wearing it every day, all his life. But why would I, why would future me create a clone? カイルはあなたのスペア。予備としての存在でした。He was to be your spare. And I mean, when we heard from Kay before, right? He was told that should something happen to him, he could always carry on the research. 計画を始める前に、万が一あなたが不慮の事故によって倒れた場合には、彼が代役を務める手はずだったのです。If something happened to you before the project began, he would take your place. Wow. What a reveal. I was t h e n A B K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K 意識のことで、ボディとは言うまでもなく肉体のことです。Anima is another word for the soul or the consciousness. Body is, well, exactly what it says on the tin. 過去の意識を未来の肉体に、未来の意識を過去の肉体に、それぞれ入れ替える。The past consciousness will go into the future body, and the future consciousness will go into the past body. They switch. And that's why the two fui ego eris, right? That was the chief goal of the project. Wait, so the future person goes into the past person? Sigma, sir. Kono biotope de hakken shita memo no koto oboe de i m a s e n k Sigma, do you remember the note you found in the garden? Sore te moshka shite. Kore no koto? You mean this, right? Eh, so this. Yes. So, you have a conorexi de biotopo tansak saretanoa, Yotsuba san tachi de stane. Ah, of course, it was you who investigated the garden in this timeline. Yeah. Sigma san, Konozo yoku mite kudasai. Sigma, take a good look at this. Anatano ishki ga jikan cho yaku steku yosu zukai stamono des. It's an illustration of the time jumps your consciousness is making. Mazu ten ewa. A is where everything began. 2028年12月25日 December 25th, 2028 You inhaled the white smoke in your car and lost consciousness. From there, you jumped to B. 2074年1月25日 January 25th, 2074あなたはこの施設リゾーム9の AB ルームで目覚めることになります You woke up in one of the AB rooms in Rizo 9そこにあったのは67歳になったあなたの体 You are in your own body but it is 67 years old つまりあなたの意識はおよそ45年後の未来の肉体へと Your consciousness has jumped 45 years into the future. Sigma, sir, Anata ga jiuyok no genshou ni kizuka na katta no wa, sono se de mo aru no da to omoimasu. I believe that may explain why you didn't notice the reduced lunar gravity. Anata no nikutai wa rojin no mono. The body you woke up in was much older. Ishiki wa wakai mama de mo kinyok wa otoro ete. Normally, you would have noticed that your muscles were much weaker. Shitaga te sono tame ni, kono getsmen de no jiuyok ni mo. In this case, however, the lower gravity balanced that out. 
Moving on. If you continue along this line, what happens next? I'm trying to just follow this arrow myself. You reach C, which is January 27th, 2074. That is today. Whoa. Wait, what do you mean? Are you saying it's been two days since we woke up? Thirty-six hours, to be exact. Have you already forgotten? You were all infected with Radical Six. The virus slowed your brain down. So yes, 36 hours of real time have passed. But to you, it only seemed like 14 hours and 40 minutes. Now comes the important part. After this, your consciousness will return to the past. How can it be controlled in such a manner though, right? And it sounds like it'll go to... E or D, right? It will re-emerge at point D. April 13th, 2029. You will return to your younger body. But that's the same day as the reactor explosions. Yes. That is why I said it will be too late. You will return to the past, but the events you would want to prevent will have already happened. The story does not end there, however. The line continues. After reaching point D, you will eventually return to B. Really? I don't... I don't know. Are those little, like, arches, like, going over a line, or a proper intersection, right? It looks like it should be going over, and if that's the case... It looks like you would come back to A, and then go to C, and then, you know, you'd eventually then get to B. But... Maybe that's what's being referred to. But this time you won't be jumping through time, or at least not at a rate faster than normal. Your consciousness will spend 45 years inhabiting the same body. Until you reach point B. Do you remember when B is, Sigma? January 25th, 2074. According to what you just told us, it's 36 hours ago. Correct. That was when the consciousness of the 22-year-old Sigma jumped into the body of 67-year-old Sigma. So where did the older version of you go when you took his body? Point A. December 25th, 2028. The day all of this started. Yes. His consciousness will go back in time 45 years. 
For a period of time, he will inhabit your younger body. While your younger consciousness is elsewhere, he will be you in the past. But once that body reaches point D, my 22-year-old consciousness will come back from point C. That's correct. When that happens, the older version of you will be ejected from your younger body and return to your body at sea. The thing though is, these aren't all taking place at the same amount of time, right? Like going back to, what is it, December 25th, 2028, and then waiting until April 13th, 2029 is not the same amount of time it takes to go from point B to point C. So, hmm. So, it's not like the times when people are going to be switching, or consciousnesses are going to be switching, are going to take place after the same amount of time, where things will line up nicely. Unless you assume it's like constantly happening, and they're constantly switching, and there are multiple timelines where it's switched and hasn't, or, or something kind of hand wavy like that. But, that's still not really clicking with me, but... So it's rotating? Rotating. I suppose you could put it that way. But look at this illustration closely. What if you take all these lines and untangle them? You get one single line. It may look complicated, but in truth it's a single straight path. I mean, I might believe you if you showed me where that arrow at the top of the screen leads to, but I don't actually know, right? With one exception. This line here at point E, right? Exactly. Point E is December 31st, 2028, the day of the total eclipse. The day Radical 6 got out of the test facility. Yes. By now you've likely figured it out on your own. The purpose of the ABE project was to get the consciousness of the 67-year-old Sigma from point B to point A. If we can do that, we can change what happened 45 years ago. So the old version of me will keep Radical 6 from getting out. By jumping into my 22-year-old body on New Year's Eve 2028. And then I'm also wondering, in terms of like the purpose of the AB game at this point, right? There had to have been a 67-year-old Sigma who had grown up, right? Um, as we see, having spent 45 years being unable to jump, developing the AB game so that a another Sigma could develop the ability to jump and thus set off this whole process. So this. Yes. So that is why this line could not be interrupted. In order for the 67-year-old version of you to reach point B, we first have to go through point D. In order to get to point D, we must jump from point C. And for point C to happen, we had to recreate everything that happened in this facility. That is why we have faithfully retraced history up to this point. So that we might save humankind from destruction. Hmm. I kinda get it. I kinda get it. And undo the horrors of the last 45 years. Hmm.
I guess, Akane mentioned it before, that in order to have a sort of swap, you need to ensure that the events leading from that past lead to the same future, right? Kind of like how the when we went back to save Akane, in order to go back into the future, Akane had to take on Kei's armor and ensure that everything was done the same way, yada yada. Uh, and everything was staged to be the same way, so that things would progress in a similar manner. And I think that's the key there as well, is that they had to recreate everything that happened during those 45 years, the AB game, etc. Um, and all those events in order for this transposition to even take place. Wow, deep stuff. <laughs> Tell me one thing. What is that? Who is Phi? <laughs> you said that point C is January 27th, 2074, which is today. There's going to be a jump, and I'll jump to April 13th, 2029. Yes, that's right. But look, I'm still old. When is this jump supposed to happen? Very soon. Soon? Yes. And what's going to trigger it? We need potential energy stored to send your consciousness into the fourth dimension. Okay, so this is actually a really important question, because up until this point it was like, oh yeah, we'll like jump at this time, and at this time, and at times Sigma's been able to be like, oh, I really need this info, and then boom, is able to jump. But, um, this at least provides some sort of an explanation for why there are certain times when he can jump and sometimes when he can't. Fortunately, we now have plenty of that. Thanks, ironically, to Radical Six. All that remains is to launch your consciousness, so we need some danger. Like a bullet from a slingshot. And how do you propose to do that? Didn't I tell you? A crisis. A moment balanced between life and death. That can jumpstart your brain. Uh, what do you mean? You haven't figured it out? I mean this. Oh boy. Dio's knife. No sooner were the words out of my mouth. What? Fi! I screamed and leapt toward them. Akane was already in motion, the knife diving toward Fi's chest. I was almost there. When I regained consciousness, I was on the floor. There was a dull pain in my chest. I felt for a cut, but something was in the way. It took me a moment to realize that it was Akane's body lying on top of me. I twisted my neck to look around. Nearby was an old tombstone. On it was written a few words in Latin. What you are, I was. What I am, you will be. So she ran at Phi to trigger the, the crisis, and then boom, we switch. And thus are able to go back in history and save humankind from Radical Six and the terrorist organization and all that jazz. And then, and then truly change history. We recreated history in a certain way so that we could develop an ability and transpose and go back in the past. And then in doing so, we'll change history in the way that we want, right? Um, but that will, of course, mean that there won't be a, a future to transpose to, etc. And so then there, there'll be separate timelines, I think, that... Um, well, there won't be essentially a future and a past in the same timeline, I don't think, at that point. Or there might be, I don't know, um, but it'll be different, right? <laughs> it'll be a very different timeline. Interesting. So this is this is the real ending, I'm sure. So that last jolt, that last jump with the knife, 
is what set off the trigger, right? To send this Sigma to the past and, um, well, back to, to April 13th or whatever. Although now I'm, I'm thinking about it, right? And the Sigma, we're, we're supposedly a different Sigma, I think, when we wake up in this moment. I'm still trying to unpack it though. Normally during the credits I talk about my thoughts on the game and everything, but right now I'm still just trying to unpack and understand the ending. The whole idea is our past self jumped to the future, right? And we've been playing through the AV game while our future self jumped to the past and has been doing things. And then we have another jump, right? Where presumably we're gonna go back to April 13th, I think? and then play through, or like live through 45 years, right? So then who jumped back to our future self? Was it the previously future self? I don't know, the one that had originally gone, lived to 67 and then wanted to go back to change things, right? I think so. I think so. And then we eventually jump back after sorting things out. So that's the fi end. A new destination has been added to the flowchart. What an ending. But yeah, so I think I think that's what happened-ish, right? Is the 67-year-old jump back, lived from December whatever up till April 13th, did whatever was necessary to prevent that, you know, history from happening, and then the jump took place on that day when we go back to our past selves. Um, we, meaning the Sigma we've been playing as up until this point, and then things kind of iron out. But, wow. Okay, so now, <laughs> this flowchart. This flowchart is something. So we've got the Phi end. Now we jump back to the past, right? That event occurred, and now we, we go back to the beginning way back to the beginning to try to save mankind. This game is so complicated and kind of hand wavy, but something I learned from 999 is that this sort of a game is not one where you truly try to deduce everything that's going on and figure it out and get joy from being like, aha, I figured out the situation before the game you know, explained it to me and being one step ahead of it. It's really one where you enjoy being taken for a ride. You know, the, the physics, the principles of this universe are not the same of our own. And a lot of times they're revealed later on in the game. And so you can't actually f try to figure things out. And then when the solutions would arise, you'd be frustrated because there's no way you could have figured it out. And um, it's more about appreciating how different in how different this universe is. And then how, if you change just a few axioms, right? that are different from our real world, what kind of a universe would you have if you could have a morphogenetic field, for example? What cool things could happen, right? And uh, all of that sort of thing. Um, you know, suppose there were a virus like Radical Six and there were a morphogenetic field. What if this theory worked and what could happen? And then just being amazed by whatever that might be um, is, is kind of an approach I've acquired with regards to this series. And this episode demonstrated that probably better than anything else, uh, how how fun that can be when you're taken for the ride. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode just as much as I did. The Phi end was pretty incredible, pretty confusing, a little hand wavy, but plenty of fun. And now we're going back in the past to try to go back to the future. And hopefully even more stuff will make sense. Even though that was the Phi end, we don't know who Phi is, which is crazy. So I really want to figure that out soon, but until the next episode, this is Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete.